Hi guys, um, name's Adam Honeysett. I've uh, been a rigmarole consultant now for a number of years, 12, 13, maybe even 14 years. Um, just thought I'd talk a little bit about rigs. Um, had quite a successful year this year, as I did last year. Um, but this year, um, had a lot of success, um, mainly on pop-up rigs, to be honest. Um, I've always been a sort of a bottom bait angler, but the water I've been fishing this year, um, it's uh, very choddy to say the least. Um, unless you're fishing out in the middle in deep, deep water, the, you know, that you're fishing over chod all the time. Um, makes bottom fishing very, very hard. Although I have caught a few on bottom baits, um, you're always questioning your presentation um, with the amount of chod on the bottom. Um, um, I come up with my own idea really, um, always liked, you know, rigmarole products, um, well before, you know, becoming a consultant, um, a good mate of mine, Darren Belton, introduced me to rigmarole, um, and, you know, when he showed me the Hydrolink, I was, I was blown away. Um, what I like about the Hydrolink is you can, you can, um, you can create a stiff hinge rig. Um, with you know obviously the fluorocarbon inside is this spray coating on the outside um, you can make it completely stiff and I like the grey because in silt um, it it mingles in really really well it takes on the colour it takes on the water which means it darkens up in water um, my own variation of them really um, these are a couple of my favourites really um, uh, and as I say, I'm only going to go into depth with the pop-up rigs. Um, there's the Hydrolink, £15. Cam H2 own 20 for the chod section on the end of my pop-up rigs. Yeah, I'm, I use chod rigs, but they, have their, oh, don't get me wrong, they have their place in carp fishing, but um, not for me. I think they get away with it more than they actually get hooked. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, another... Uh, 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 going back again, another all-time favourite of mine, the Micro Hydrolink. Right, well, um, I do these a little bit different. I still use two materials, um, mainly because the Hydrolink, you know, like I say, it, you can have a stiff hinge rig and still have a coat, have a braid um, with the fluorocarbon on the inside, which can, can makes it completely stiff. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Here, there we go, Hydrolink in grey. Um, again, really, really stiff fluorocarbon material. And there you go, with the chod section tied on the end. You can have these as high, obviously you should tie the sections yourself, you can have them as small like I've got there with a nice little kicker or you can have them as long as you like. Now what I do find is fishing it like that you can fish the putty on the knot, not a problem with smaller fish but you do that having it that low and fish the putty on that knot doesn't work with a bigger fish. It, for some reason, doesn't create enough movement and doesn't give you a good, too good a goal. I don't think it goes far enough in their mouth. It pricks the, pricks the out lips and doesn't seem to, like I say, go in very well. But in that instance, you know, if I want to have a low pop-up, I want to have a low pop-up. I'm not going to... I'm not going to change it completely, but that's why I like this. I like this um, Hydrolink because all I've done there, although I've used the two materials, I've got the Cam H2 on the end and then the Hydrolink in the middle. You've got a nice supple piece with the fluorocarbon stripped out. Now on there, all I do is I pinch a very small split shot and cover it in putty. Then, when your pop-up's on the bottom, you've still got plenty of natural movement. 
and that does fishing it like that does give you much better hook holds with the shot right on the end there so you still got all that movement again that one being so stiff all right on flat gravelly bottoms maybe all right with very very light chod but yeah a good rig for flat bottoms hard bottoms uh, very very light silt the other one though <coughs> for fishing over weed <coughs> excuse me tied exactly the same with your kicker but this one is just done out of hydrant micro this rig I tend to fish short range it can be it can be prone to tangling because you know it's not stiff in any way although it's got the two pound fluorocarbon running through the middle it's not got any sort of um, stiffness to give it the kick away as it crashes down um, when you're casting but what it does give you is use a little bit of um, foam around the hook a little bit of PVA foam and when you're fishing over weed up to an inch whatever something like that, silt weed chod that let it go crashing down in the chod and with your foam nugget on that will come down and settle lovely on the bottom with the foam on I do tend to put a couple of very small blob, blobs of putty on there very small because again you remember this rig is the whole idea of this rig is to fish it over chod and slight weed um, again caught me some good fish this year as is the other one absolutely faultless well Let's pop up rigs this time. Next time we'll uh, we're going to depth with um, something else, and uh, you know I'll, there's probably six or seven rigs I actually use in total. But um, like I say, this year it's mainly been the pop up rigs, and um, I felt no need to use anything else really. Um, yeah. So until next time, all the best. Hope that helps you in the future. Catch yourself some carp. Cheers.